Hello, so I want to do a quick <clears throat> rig update. It's been about, I would say almost a month since I got it. Um, <clears throat> some things have changed. Uh, nothing too crazy. I did swap out that Land Cruiser rest Restorations rack for this Bowfin rack. This is a pretty awesome rack. Um, it's kind of a similar idea to um, the Prinzu racks where they have the T-slots. Um, I love it. It is super sturdy. Um, the hardware is actually, I think, a lot better than Prince's hardware um, for the same style of rack. The way it latches is actually pretty pretty sweet. Um, if you do notice, I did get uh, some 15% uh, ceramic uh, Lumar tint. Um, it's super hot in Vegas, so this definitely cut the heat down. I never paid $500 for tint. Um, I usually do the cheap stuff um, just to, you know, sorry, I'm kind of walking around the rig. Um, just to kind of you know cut the cut the heat really, um, but it makes a huge difference against ceramic. Um, so I did do a higher end tint on here. In the back, I finished my goose gear kind of do it yourself um, base plate. I wasn't gonna spend seven hundred dollars for a base plate, but essentially it's really easy. Um, it's just three quarter plywood, and then these are uh, ten mil. Oh, I'm sorry, I uh, forget which uh, size screws, but <clears throat> basically it's about an inch and a half longer. Sorry, yeah, I would say about an inch and a half longer than the, than the regular screws that are in there, the bolts. Those are the hooks. So I had to keep the rear hook um, just because the kid and so I kept those. So there's four mounting locations and they're held down with, you know, eight screws, eight bolts total. So I'm pretty, it's pretty secure in here. And I did split it in half. <clears throat> Excuse me. I did split it in half. It's pretty solid, man. Um, just because it makes it easier to go in, in and out of the car. It was so hard to have one piece of plywood kind of going in and out that huge without trying to hit my windows. Um, so I, did, I didn't want to mess with that. And plus I didn't want to always ask my wife to get this thing in here. So anyway, it splits in half totally. So the idea is that on this side, I'm going to have my fridge. And I did measure from here, the rear well to the middle here. And it does fit like, uh, you know, the size of the Ingle or the CFX 3 or, or uh, 4. I think it's a 30 liter, 45 liter slide. So that, that will go in there. <clears throat> um, so I'm pretty happy about this. And I'm just going to add quarter 20 screws uh, inserts. So these are... I put these for a different reason, but anyway, so these would go underneath, you drill them in, and you can use a card 20 bolt. Um, so I'll just line those up in the back. Um, however, I decide what type of, um, you know, bins I'm gonna use. Probably gonna use the front rudder bins. Um, you are seeing these holes. I, I did try to use a T-slot, um, like kind of like a CNC machine, um, the T-slots, and then I was gonna <clears throat> do, um, um, what you call it, uh, rotor. Um, it in here but uh i didn't really have um a way to do it and i didn't want to go buy another tool so anyway long story short i just pulled those out so that's why there's holes in there anyway so core wrench super super sturdy i mean this plate is is definitely in here um the other thing you notice since i'm in the back of the speakers so there are six and a half speakers that are kind of running throughout the v uh the rear close it up and then I have a sub, just a really, you know, one of those $90 hideaway subs. I have it down there. Um, you can kind of see the brand, Devmo, I think it is. Man, this thing is awesome. I mean, this thing, for an 8-inch sub, a hideaway, um, you know, and then I'm running it down through here, back to the front. Um, it is super awesome. It sounds so good. And then, and it's like $90. On the inside, I updated the head unit to a Kenwood. Um, I did have a Sony here. Long story short, um, they don't really make a, a mounting bracket. So I actually shorted the mounting um, harness some weird way on a bracket that I kind of fabbed up. Long And anyway, long story short, I thought I busted the unit and I didn't. Um, so I put another head unit in here, got it warrantied and then um, went ahead and just made sure I made a real sturdy bracket behind here that wasn't touching anything. I did have to update the, um, so I'm running 24 volt, right? All day. So this is not 24 volt start, this is 24 volt all day long. So I had to do a reducer uh, or a step down, whatever you want to call it. And I connected the radio and this new USB plug um, to the 
uh, Sigur Lyre that was here. And so it goes from 24 volt to down to 12 volts to run both these guys. And it's the reducers, there's one of those uh, step downs from Amazon. I don't know if you can see it, it's up there. <laughs> Sorry if it's weird. And then um, that's pretty much it. Um, I did do some updates to, you know, kind of the wiring in the engine bay. So those are the five and a quarters. Man, these kickers sound really good. Sorry, I'm all over the place. I'm just trying to see what, I, what I've done over the last, I guess, two or three weeks. Um, I did get the new cruiser. These are the cruiser, um, cruiser outfitters, I think it is, the mats. They're like 150 bucks for the front and rears. I, I love these. Um, I know that, you know, the only thing a lot of people say is it doesn't keep all the dirt inside. I, I think it does. It does well enough for me. I don't really like the WeatherTech look, so I went with these. I had in my Elderland Cruiser. Um, I did put a dash pad just to try to save. You know, um, this thing is super clean under here. So this is a Spectre Off-Road, S-O-R Off-Road dash pad. I, I love it. It fits pretty well. Um, what else can I say in here? I think that's it. Um, I'll show you some stuff in the engine. I didn't do anything crazy. I just wanted to update some of the wiring. It was pretty bad and old. It's probably the best way to put it old. Um, I'll just show you that and I'm pretty much done. Sorry, it's hard to do with one hand. So the wiring, I updated all the the negative wiring and the positive wiring. Um, as you can see, it was it was pretty um, old. It's probably the best way to put it. Um, routed it all right. This is the the amp and the um, radio for the uh, memory line for the radio. And then uh, over here, you have the uh, second battery. This is memory. It's not dual batteries. This is a stock dual battery system with a 24 volt. And I change the lines like I said the only thing I haven't done is that the um, positive on the uh, on the fusible link side so I'll probably gonna update those wires um, as well next thing I'm gonna do is go through here and kind of kind of repaint some of the stuff that's starting to get rusty around the airbox um, anyway it's pretty pretty stock so anyway um, <clears throat> that's pretty much it uh, kind of quick video here I do see some marks on the bumper that I'm going to respray. Um, I don't know. I'm loving it. So hopefully you guys like the update. I'll keep it going. Any questions about having an HA61 in the States, let me know. All right, everyone. Have a good day.